So we have this Honda Fit in for interior cleaning. It's in pretty rough shape. Um, I think like 300 for the detail. It's gonna take us a few hours to complete. So as bad as it is, it's not gonna be overly crazy. The floor mats are just debris and whatever that is. And then the, the seats are leather seats, so that helps out a lot, but they're just, there's a lot of gunk on them. Uh, door panels are pretty ugly as well, but it shouldn't take us too long. We have the Ford Raptor in uh, in Unit 104 right now, getting some PPF on the B-pillars. Uh, we did a, a correction polishing coating on, on the truck already. It's just getting, it came in from maintenance detail, plus it's getting some PPF done. Um, so this was, so, and then we have another car being dropped off at 1.30 p.m. So anyways, that's what we have going on today. But in this video, we're gonna talk about ceramic coatings and PPF and why some detailers are kind of saying that like, you know, I'll see it when they're posting on their, on their Instagram of like, ceramic coating is the best form of protection. And it is the best, like relative to like a, a wax or a sealant, it, it is superior to that. But the way they say what ceramic coatings do is a little bit misleading because obviously the best form of protection, like the best form of protection for your vehicle is going to be PPF. Like there is no ifs, ands, or buts. Like PPF is the ultimate form of protection against anything. Now ceramic coatings, although yes, they do protect your vehicle, but it's more so just to maintain your vehicle, right? To, to make the washing process easier, to, you know, the dirt doesn't cling onto the paint as much. So there's, when you're talking to your customers, there, there needs to be like a definitive difference between what a ceramic coating does and what can, it can actually protect against. So the Civic SI that I posted the last video, right? The reason why he purchased a $2,300 service from us, which is PPF, is because his goal was to protect the paint. Like he wants to protect the paint from rock chips, from debris hitting it, from just things that could that could that could damage the paint. So with that, is like yeah, a ceramic coating wasn't enough for him. Like he didn't want to get that done. So PPF for that customer was the best option. So the thing with that is that like a ceramic coating does do a great job, but if a customer is looking for protection from rock chips, from debris on the freeway, on the road to protect the paint from any damage, like a ceramic coating is simply not going to do that. And because you want to book in that high paying job, you might finesse your words and, and the way it talks to where you, you it, it kind of might be what the customer wants, but not really. But so with something like that, like you have to make a clear difference between a what 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 the pros and cons are of, of a ceramic coating and what the pros and cons are of a PPF. And if you have cus like if you're turning down customers because they really want the best protection of PPF, maybe it might make sense for you to look into offering paint protection film as a service in your business. It might take a while, it'll be a big upfront investment, but if you are turning customers away because they do want PPF, maybe it's time to look into adding a new service into your uh, into your business. We're currently on our way to go get Chipotle right now. What's up? <laughs> and if you're just starting your detailing business, click the link down below and download the ultimate guide to start your detailing business. It's 100% free. There's over 10,000 words of pure content in this guide. It took me months to write. Click the link down below, download it, read it, and implement it into your business. Now, of course, that's easier said than done, right? Like, oh, let me just offer PPF services. But that's like, for instance, if, if I look back at smoke odor removal, right? Um, we were turning away customers because we didn't offer that service. Like, we didn't have the proper equipment or procedures or experience with it. And then at some point, me and Lex were like, maybe we should offer this as a service actually. So we looked into it, we took a class on it, we got certified, we purchased the appropriate equipment that we needed for a proper smoke odor removal process. And literally on the, on the first car we booked in, I think it was like $500 or $700. And then the next one we booked in was like $700. And then the next one was like $400. Then the next one was $900. Then at some point there's a $1,400 smoke odor removal. So if, if, the, if, if you are, again, like if you do have those customers that want the ultimate form of protection to protect their vehicle 
from rock chips from debris it's going to be ppf and if it makes sense for your business for your scenario then maybe that's something you look into now you might say oh well i'm a mobile detailer like i don't have the shop or the space and it's like well maybe you contemplating offering ppf sets you on a new path to where okay maybe i should look for a shop or maybe it is time i kind of changed how i'm running business or, or what i'm doing because maybe at this current given phase that you're in ppf doesn't seem like the best thing that you can do because again space wise the services time but maybe now you're like oh well you know maybe if i over the next two years do this do that get trained do this get practice oh like maybe like in two years i'll be i'll be able to offer this service and again apply this to literally any service whether it's ppf or window tinting or correction and coatings or uh vinyl wrapping whatever it is like that's the way it goes out like you, you don't just start offering a new service or start doing this do like it's a slow incremental progress that you do over time that gets you to where you want to be so i didn't capture any content on the mustang but it came in for a maintenance detail plus we polished and coated something on the rear deck on the ford raptor it's all done but we're going to polish the door because someone kind of like ran their finger across the panel and kind of added some swirls to it so we're gonna fix that and then right now we're finishing up the interior on this Honda Fit. By the way, we have the peel board installed for window tinting or as Angel used it uh, for the PPF on the B pillars. I need to make an updated like shop tour of the shop just because it, not, not nothing drastically changed, but there is like some changes from like the last time I did a shop tour. It's now the next day. We had uh, three customers from the same company drop off three vehicles. It was gonna be four, but it's just three. So they drove 30 minutes from their job. They all dropped it off. At, they all dropped them off at the same time. They all Ubered back together to their, uh, to their job. And then they're gonna come back in the Uber and pick up their three vehicles. And I know adding a new service seems very daunting. It's a big learning curve because, you know, if you've been doing detailing for, you know, even just a year, two years, like, you know, detailing, you're comfortable with detailing and thinking about adding a new service, like, oh, well, what film do i go with for what manufacturer what company and where i get trained and how long is it going to take and the pricing and the process and all this stuff and the marketing like it's it seems like a very big task and a big project because it is but it's one of those things of like if if you don't do it then when would you ever do it right you're always going to be busy you're always going to have a lot of things on your plate but if it makes sense to you to not just add a ppf but if it's window tinting or vinyl wrapping or, or just getting into paint correction and ceramic coating like if it makes sense, although yes, it is a new endeavor and a new skill and a new things you have to learn. I mean, at some point you have to do it and the quicker you take action and the more intentional you are with getting, with getting it going, the faster you'll get to that point where you're actually offering it as a service, right? Like whenever we did vinyl wrap, whenever it was with PPF, whenever it was with uh, window tint, like as soon as we made a decision that yeah we should we should do it we instantly started training we instantly started we we looked for classes to go send angel and we just instantly started taking action so we can get through the reps and and gain more experience and gain the skills so to to finally to, to offer it as a service so if it makes sense to you if that's something that's interested in you i mean i i would recommend and encourage you to do it um but at a minimum just be clear on what a ceramic coating does versus a paint protected film. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll talk to you guys on the next one. What up, uh, it's your boy Lex. Um, for you that don't know me, I work with Oscar at our detailing business. Um, yeah, so he just went into the vitamin shop. Just right over there. And uh, he left his camera, so I thought I'd just make a quick little video. Um, we got some Chipotle, you already know best got the chicken out pasture they just brought it back so yeah make sure y'all head over there and get that um so things are good over here we're uh, we're actually on the road to making 1.1 mil this year this 
you know big goal for us with with just three people um so we're, we're on the road to to make it like i said 1.1 mil is, is crazy like we didn't think we were gonna make it you know this year but you know everything's going well and uh yeah, it looks like that we're gonna hit our goal this year um 